Hello y'all, this is Kaiser Redux, a Hearts of Iron 4 mod that acts as an unofficial standalone expansion for the Kaiserreich mod. Kaiserreich itself is a mod set in a world where the central powers won World War I. With that out of the way, this video will serve as part one of a Georgia Stalin Path playthrough. We have begun and let's go to our national overview. And in this, it says we have two national spirits, and they are Treaty of Putte and Minority Protest. After that, we have our ruling ideology, which is Social Democracy. Well, it's the Social Democratic Party of Georgia, more specifically, and they are Democratic Socialist, apparently. Now, go to, going to our national focus tree, let's go ahead and do something here. Let's start doing the focus, what is it called? National Army Budget Evaluation. This will take 42 days. And the description for it says, it says, In our Constitution, it is up to the national government to decide and evaluate the budget of the Georgia National Army. So once this is done, we'll get 25, well, 25 Army experience, and we'll get an event called the Army's Annual Budget Evaluation, which makes sense. As for our military overall, it consists of, let's see here, six divisions, four our infantry, and two our cavalry. We have a small navy, which is three submarines, well, three destroyers and five submarines. And the Georgian Air Force does not currently exist at this time, which is whatever. So let's go to our navy first, get them an admiral. We have one fleet, the flotilla, whatever, just get them here. And get these guys here. So this is going to be our army. Oh, wait, i got to get to the right view first. The default map mode, as it's called, I think. Grab all these guys here. I'm missing one division. Whoops, okay, yeah, you go there. Yes. There we go. Valerian Tavadis is going to lead them. That is that. Now, in the research tree, let's get basic machine tools and construction one, as well as electronic mechanical engineering. Just your standard basic things you do when you start a playthrough in Hoi 4. And we can't build any civilian factories, it looks like, at the moment, so let's just build up our railway network maybe could that be useful to us i don't know build it up in say tbilisi to georgia in general just make it better overall so we can have better supply down the line let's move our army over here to the border to well the border with the ottoman empire and now we're going to unpause and we'll probably get some kind of lore event on georgia very soon because a lot of countries in kaiser redux have it well in kaiser right kaiser redux and there it is this is going to be quite the read. The Democratic Republic of Georgia. Georgia gained its independence during the chaos of the Russian Civil War, following its break from the short-lived Transcaucasian Federation. During the chaos, Georgia went to Germany for help in defending against the enemies surrounding the nation. Georgia signed multiple agreements with Germany, notably, notably the Treaty of Putti, placing the country under the protection of Germany in exchange for several economic concessions which have resulted in a clear, well, a clear German dominance within the economy. Also in the Treaty of Batum, Georgia gave all of its Muslim-majority regions to the Ottoman Empire. Following a short conflict with the now-dead Republic of Armenia, Georgia lost Lurie and has since remained a peaceful and stable state. So Georgia has lost quite a bit of territory in the lure of Kaiser Redux. While a part of Russia, Georgia was a center of Menshevik society, well, Menshevik activity, actually, big difference there, which remained the case when it gained independence, with the Menshevik Social Democratic Party of Georgia ruling since 1918. Following the, well, following No Remeshevis, Remeshevis brief stint as chairman in 1918, No Sardana has ruled the country for 18 years solid. The Mensheviks have had complete political dominance over Georgia the whole time. Though their vote count has shrunk over the years, in the election of 1935, the Mensheviks almost lost their majority, but were able to keep hold. The National Democratic Party, or, well, the EDP, garnered a large amount of votes with their leader, Ekstum Takavishish, I can't pronounce these names, I'm sorry, but getting to work closer with monarchist groups. The popularity for a monarchy has grown over the years, with the two main candidates as king being Prince Joachim, Joachim? of Prussia, son of Kaiser Wilhelm II, and George Bagrationi, Bagration, head of the old Georgian royal family, the Braschiani dynasty. Georgia stands as a beacon of stability in a world of growing uncertainty. 
Late last year, the old and popular Nostradana announced he would resign as chairman to be replaced by Ivanji Gagachkuri, who has worked in Sardana's government since independence, though is notably less popular than him. However, unless disaster were to, well, unless disaster were to suddenly strike the nation, nothing is set to change politically until the next election in 1939. Georgia must survive. And that gives us, that establishes the background information on Georgia there and why it's dominated by the social democrats here. And how, now we have another event called Shadows of the Russian Civil War, I believe. Well, Shadow of the Russian Civil War, yes. The Georgian state was formally established in 1918 after the Treaty of brest litovsk and the nation found itself surrounded by immediate chaos of the Russian Civil War. Georgia quickly became a stronghold for the Menshevik party, while managing to fend off the invasion from the Bolshevik forces in the Civil War. The now ruling Menshevik party banded together with several Bolshevik and social revolutionary figures to form a new quote-unquote Caucasian brand of socialism, which formed a new parliament. Into the 1920s, the country's industrial base has developed surprisingly well, with major Bolshevik figures being granted significant sway over the nation's economy soon after. Well, soon after the Georgian Communist Party was formed, with Yosef Jogoshevichi as its leader, though being banned throughout the decade of stable growth and economic dependence on Germany, the Communist Party has gained vast popularity among both peasants and Georgian nationalists. Whatever the future may hold, the future of Georgia is without a doubt uncertain, worrying to say the least, dot 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 there. So that establishes what Yosef Jogoshevashi is doing, and no Sardana retires, this is a big deal politically for Georgia, and it says here, announced in December last year, no Sardana is stepping down as chairman of the Democratic Republic of Georgia. He has ruled the nation for 18 years, and under him, Georgia has grown close to Germany and has become a strong and relatively stable nation. However, with his popularity beginning to falter following some failed reforms and the economy stagnating, Sardana decided it was his time to retire. His replacement, Avanji Kagachkuri, has worked closely with Sardana over his 18 years of leadership, serving in his cabinet as well as the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Minister of Justice, and Minister for Internal Affairs. Due to the relative stability of Georgia at the current time, and decent economic outlooks, the public should have time to get to like Kagachkori just as much as they like Sardania. And now Sardania is going to retire. We now have a new leader of Georgia. Is that right? Yes, we do. So his replacement is now in charge. Our starting leader is gone. So that is that. We also have low manpower. We have 6,000 manpower currently, which could be a problem down the line, but it isn't right now. Hopefully we can resolve that in some way eventually. The 1936 Riga Winter Olympics occurred, and Jogoshevashi flees, no, he flies to Birmingham. He's not fleeing, he's just visiting Birmingham in England, well, Britain. Oswald Mosley of the Union of Britain has invited prominent cabinet, mem prominent cabinet member Jogoshevashi to Birmingham to discuss the common ground between their ideologies. Jogoshevashi has thanked him for the invite and set off in the name of internationalism. Have a safe flight, comrade. And is he in the cabinet? I wonder. Let me see here. He is... I don't know if he is or not. He may not be. I don't think he is. Maybe he technically is in just... He's not in a government position within this political tab we got here. So that is what it is. And now national, what a totalist charter takes place. So we have Mussolini, Vela, Ochamar, Jugoslavashi, and other interested parties arrived in Birmingham. To t well, arrived in Birmingham. And that's what they're all doing there. A totalist charter. And, well, the make the totalist charter thing with Mosley. And totalism is like an ideology that focuses, where is it at? Totalism, well, it just, I don't know, it focuses more, it's more authoritarian, I guess, usually. Compared to social democracy, syndicalism, and radical socialism in this mod, typically. And now Afghanistan is going to declare war on the Dominion of Delhi, so that is going down. The Great Berlin stock market crash has occurred that could probably affect Georgia, since Georgia is on good relations with the Germans. Let me improve some things here, please. Build more railways. Electoral gridlock in France. This isn't, this isn't good. The, well, for us, in this economic crisis, Black Monday is hitting us, basically. 
the economic crisis hits our nation. The coup attempt has rendered, oh, what is this about? The coup attempt has rendered the Supreme Economic Council, which previously balanced the interest of the Georgian economy and the German economy useless. Georgia is now in the face of a full-blown economic collapse as differing political factions put forward radically different economic policies, something that has only worsened the political situation. With the SEC gone, our small nation is on the brink of total economic collapse. And what is this about a coup attempt? I don't get it. Yeah, I don't get it. What about a coup attempt? Re-examine our economic policies. What coup? There hasn't been a coup yet. Oh my goodness gracious. I don't get it. Oh well. So National Army Budget Evaluation is going to be done now. The Army's Annual Budget Evaluation. Poland declares a republic. Okay. So it says here, with tensions across the world growing more and more, and with the economic crisis of the economic crisis, the economic crisis of the economic crisis hitting the nation, the military commission has decided that it is time to reevaluate the budget of the military. Specifically, rather, the army should focus more on its defensive or offensive capabilities. A more offensive approach is needed. So that is done. It enabled some decisions for us, I think, over here, like military industrial expansion use some political power for that and that will give us one military factory once it is done that should help us out food prices the food prices well food prices are skyrocketing since many farmers have left the countryside and other farmers refuse to sell food cheaply less food is available in the urban areas and as such prices are rising by the hour a lot of men women and children can't buy food anymore because they earn too little that is not good and as such some have resorted to violent solutions. Shops that sell food are raided almost every day, and police presence isn't enough to stop them. Many vendors have died, that's bad, and others are too scared to continue with business and have closed their doors, making the situation even worse. You can't change the market, so that's our response to that issue, and that is that. So now we wait for more events, I guess. The League of Eight Provinces is going to fight the, well, the declared one to left Kimantang. Over in China, that's going on. Just some, just some conflicts going on in Asia currently, like in Afghanistan. Icelandic independence has been established. All right, Tiflis protest. So this is some event about a protest taking place. Thousands of people have gathered in Tiflis, 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 this morning, protesting against the leadership of Avanchi, I mean Evangenji Gagachikori, and the rough economic situation they are now in. While some call him a puppet to the Germans, others say that he's purposely working against them for personal gain. These protests have been led by multiple of parties in Georgia, everywhere from Iktam Takavajashi's EDP to Leo Shingalai's SRs. I cannot these names, I just they're I just can't say them right. Though wildly different, they all ask for the same thing. New elections. At the protest, some guy spoke to about the leader of the EDP. He spoke to a large crowd about how the situation of Georgia has changed since last year, and the current government, the current government is unfit to fix it. Avajunji has not commented yet. This doesn't look good at all. So we take a hit there and base stability, and I think social democracy's popularity as an ideology has gone down. So that has happened now in the Georgian state. So some things, some political instability is occurring. Mass food riots. And now we have this going on. That's not ideal at all. The death of Pius XI, that's the Pope. It says here, following the decision of our government to do nothing against the increased food prices, food prices and shortages, food riots everywhere in Georgia have escalated. With reports of people going to the countryside to raid farms for their food, this situation has become almost uncontrollable. And who could suspect it was going to be so bad? So now I take a hit in base stability, and we also get a national spirit called Food Riots, which provides us with even less base stability. So that's that's just wonderful. Things are not going well for us at all. And now the Tiflis protests are spreading, and it says here, in a moment, once I can read this, the massive protests in Tiflis have continued a week later and have begun to spread across the country. Protests have grown in Puti and Kutes, calling for the resignation of the government and for new elections. Worse still, George Bagration has joined a protest in Tiflis calling for the, quote, the end of socialism in Georgia, unquote. Avaganchi Gagachikori tried to hold a speech outside the Constituent Assembly earlier today, but protesters stopped this from happening. 
making Gagach Cory look weaker still. Could this get any worse? Probably, it probably can. As soon as there's like a cue on the government, that could get... It can get worse in that regard, if that does take place. So now, Georgia's government is facing some problems, and Galo seizes control of Ecuador in South America. That has gone down. So there's some more war declarations in China. Okay, then. That is going on. So we're just waiting for things to happen. What can I do in the focus tree currently? I don't think I can do anything. I'm just waiting. Basically, yeah, that is what I'm doing. The minority situation worsens. That is not ideal. The situation with the main minorities of Georgia has worsened. Well, it has worsened greatly. The People's Council of Abkhazia, a council set up representing the Abkhazian people, has officially stated that the central government should call new elections. Protests have increased in Sulkum and Sochi in recent days feeling empowered with the council's support. Things are far worse in South Ossetia, however, though they have been relatively peaceful since the end of the Ossetian uprisings in 1920, it seems, okay, just, okay, yeah, it's bad. It is bad, let's just say, things are not going well in Georgia currently in 1936, which is only March, is it not? I think it is, end of March, yeah. So importing food, Let's say no to this, maybe. Let me read it. Considering the current unstable situation of our agricultural economic sector, and more so because of the violent food riots that are happening in the cities, many prominent party members have proposed to temporarily import essential foodstuffs to prevent the situation becoming worse. Of course, doing this would most probably stop the food riots, but we need to keep the fact that our state debt will rise significantly if we do this into consideration. This is too risky. And now base stability will go down even more. And things are getting pretty bad in Georgia due to the economic crisis that is Black Monday hitting the nation and some actions by its current ruling government here of the SSDP. And with that said, I think I'm going to end what is part one of my Georgian Stalin Path playthrough in the Hearts of Iron 4 mod, Kaiser Redux here. Yes, I know he hasn't risen to power yet, but we are getting there. And besides that, if you enjoyed the mod, you can check it out in the video description. The link to it is there. If you enjoyed the video itself, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe.